The Voices of Kentuckiana, hosted by Debbie Crawford. Music by Clay Beverly. Produced by Lynn King. Sean Kelly here, and he is limo driver number one, dressed out and dapper as you can see. Wait till you see the socks. So Sean, yes, you're very handsome today. Thank you. I try to be as best as I can. Well, we're here with Miss Maggie Burr, and she is one of the models for Advanced Styles tonight. Maggie, what do you think when they asked you to do this? Well, I had mixed, mixed feelings. I didn't know for sure that I wanted to really do it or not. But then more I thought about it, I said, yes, I would love to do that. You'd be great. So, this is wonderful. Well, I hope you have a wonderful time, and we're going to watch you walk down the runway. And strut your stuff with your dapper hat. Okay. Thank you. You all, you all just look beautiful today. Thank you so much. Oh, you're Thank welcome. You so well, we'll see you every minute. I hope so. Yeah. Well, we'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. We have found the belly dancer instructor from the Jefferson County Library, and she is just amazing. Now, we're not going to tell how old you are, but you are definitely not 50. <laughs> but you move like you're 20. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, you actually give the belly dancing classes at the library, right? Yes, and they're beginners. So anyone that comes in, it's good for all levels. I can work up to different levels. But it's a beginner to make ladies feel comfortable, to get you more familiar your how your body can move. Yes. It's a very healthy um, way of working out. You don't have anyway, to do sit ups. You do a couple of little no. sit, uh, sways and yes. you're working your abs. Oh my goodness. I tell you, if you've not done belly dancing before, you really should go over and at least watch and, and try it. I think you should try it. I think a lot of people, once they tried it, would really enjoy it. They should. It's very nice. It's, very, it's a beautiful way of expressing yes. oneself. Yeah. Yes. Now, yeah. you give classes on what night? <laughs> Thursday night, the second Thursday of each month from 6.30 to 7.30 and it's free. And it's free. And it's, and it's fun. It's Everybody has fun. Yes. It's free, it's good for your body, and it's fun. So. And we have hip scarves for everybody. There so, you go. coins and jingle. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, I may come visit you for a little while. Okay. Yeah. We might do another story on that one. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Well, we're going to watch her tonight. She's actually one of the models in Advanced Styles tonight. And so we are just, we're really excited to be able to watch you ladies out there. I mean, you all are just, everybody is just gorgeous. Well, it's going to be a wonderful event. It's a fundraiser uh, for our troubled youth, and we need to help here. Yes. Well, with, especially with the uh, suicide prevention program. Yes. And it's also for the Boys and Girls Club, but the right. suicide prevention oh. is really hitting home right now with the incidents we've had in the last yes. couple of weeks. So I think it's a very important thing. If you don't make it out to this event and you, you weren't able to, you can still donate. Um, you, if you see one of these ladies on the street, you can you can give them the donation or you can see Blush on Main. And, <laughs> yes, she'll, she'll run it down to Blush on Main or run it up to Rodney at Morgan and Nay. So, but that's, that's a way for you to help out. So if you'd like to do that, make sure you get out and do it. 
right. So, well, let's let's get ready to watch you, lady. Okay. Okay. Well, hello, Miss Betsy. How are you tonight? Well, I am so excited about tonight. I bet you are. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have anything special you're going to say tonight? Yes, three sermons. I had no idea I was prepared <laughs> to say anything at all, but you know it's never a problem for me to come up with something. Oh, no, it's not. Mm -hmm. You are a good talker. You can verbalize well. Yes. So that's great. Well, you look wonderful tonight. Thank you. You know, I'm so happy to be doing this because uh, particularly recently suicide has become such a local thing and such a prevalent thing and so upsetting so if we can help raise some money for that awareness I'm delighted. Yeah. Well I think that's what some of the people need to understand is that this event um, some of the money goes to suicide prevention mm -hmm. program which is like you said is very important. We've had in the last last week and a half or so two. Oh. And, and young people, not not older people. It's just so awful. I guess you just sad. it's very sad for the family and the friends who are left behind. It's it's a tragedy, really. Well, anyway, I intend to parade my goddessness. <laughs> But we're, we're looking forward to seeing your goddesses tonight. <laughs> so we'll have a big time. Oh, yes, we will. Uh, well, thank you, Betsy. Sure. I'll see you after a while. Okay, yes, you will. <laughs> we are giving back to the community. We're making more people aware of suicide prevention. We're making more people aware of our young boys and our young girls in the community that need help through the Light Light Boys and Girls Club. And it's just a great night, great attendance, great fellowship, a great community. Well, we appreciate all that you do. I, I would suggest to anyone, if you want to get involved in something and you don't know what to do, go see Rodney. He's involved in so many things that I'm sure he'll put you somewhere. So, Thank you, Debbie. This is wonderful. I just want to encourage more businesses that we need to get together as a group and we need to sponsor things in the community so we can help people, so we can value the people in our community and give them value in our community. Let's work together. I, I think that makes everything better. It makes everybody more successful when you work together and it makes things, uh, makes the events go smoother also. So. Tonight's a good testament of that, okay. how awesome tonight's been. Yeah, and there's so many people here and so many people having a great time, but everybody is here to give back to the community. And that's, that's why we're here. Well, like we said before, if you want to donate to this, if you weren't able to make it out, go see Rodney at Morgan and Nay, or go see Mary Beth at Blush on Nay. Make a difference in your community. That's what we need. That's what we want. Thank you all. Thank you. Well, Mary Beth, I thank your event. You and Rodney put together something really awesome, and it's full. We're, we're flooding out the doors. Sold out. Sold out. So it's a, just a proven fact that Madison supports great yes. causes. Yes, they do. Comes out to support awareness. Today started at 8 a.m. And uh, with Ray Black right. at Crystal Beach Swimming Pool to support the youth and to support awareness for the community. Uh, we're out in strong unity tonight, and everybody, it's a sold out crowd. We're so happy that people are embracing each other and the community and that they came out for this wonderful event. I, I can't get over how many people are excited here. They're all dressed up. They've actually embraced this whole thing and really they're enjoying themselves. I just think it's wonderful. They are. They are. They love people love to get dressed up. They love to have something to do. And when you put a cause behind it, it just enriches everything. Uh, it was wonderful. Yeah. Now if someone didn't make it tonight, 
then buy a ticket? How can they make a donation to the We're going to extend this out another probably couple weeks. So feel free to drop off an envelope in lieu of your favorite charity, whether it be at the American Society of Suicide Pre Prevention for the Out of the Darkness Block, or you can also do it for the Lied Wide Boys and Girls Club. And you can drop those off either at Blush on Main, where Mary Beth is, or at Morgan and Nate Funeral Home with Rodney. So all means make a difference in your community. It's great. This is this. Is, I wish everybody could see be inside this building and feel the love and the support. Yes. And each other just uniting uh, for for charity. We need to do more things yes, like do. this. Yes. We need to get behind causes. And this one, with the recent tragedy in our community, it just needs to be recognized as something that's that's on the front burner uh, of concern with peer counselors in the school within your family, just for, just to sit back and take a strong look at what's going on in a day-to-day -day basis. Well, we've had a wonderful time here and we really do hope that you make a difference in your community. Get out and volunteer or donate if you need. If you can't get out and volunteer, then donate. Do something to make a difference in your community. Thanks, Debbie, and thanks everybody for coming out and supporting our cause. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it.